Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one hour tutorial of data science tools, we're trying to see how to convert numbers to words, right? So we're picking some of the tools that we learned in data science tools to help us be able to convert numbers to words. So there are several packages that, that can help you to convert numbers to words. So we have inflect, we have num to words. You can also create your own custom package and some also NLP packages that can also help you to convert numbers to words. So let's see the first method. So in case you don't have this particular package, you just go with pip install num to words, right to install. So let's work on it. So as I told you, just go with import from num to words. Let me increase the size. So from num to words, import num to words. So after importing it, now let's see how to work with this. So let's say you want to be able to convert numbers right to words. So I have a number here. So let's say 42, which is 40 is 42. I want to convert this number to words. I can also do that. So let's go with num two words dot a particular number, right? No, not dot. So it's going to be num two words, right? And I'm going to pass in a particular number. So let's say I want to convert this number 32. Numbers. So if I go on this, so that has converted automatically detected that it's 30 that's converted to numbers for us. Very interesting. So another one you can also do is that you can also specify a particular language, right? So, so perfect. So that's how to do that. So in case you also want to give it an odd number, not 30 but 30, you can just do the same thing. So now it is going to be our odd now. By default, these ones are cardinals, right? These are just by default. It's going to be cardinal numbers, cardinal numbers. These are by default cardinal numbers. So in case you want to create that as, as ordinal number, it's going to be quite simple. It's going to be the same thing. So now to words, then we have 30. So to put it to ordinal, it's going to be set a particular stuff. So to go to then ordinal. So if I go with it, it's going to turn it to 30, right? Which is very interesting. 30. Very interesting. So that is one, one, one of the ways of working with this particular package. So this package also gives you the option of converting to other, other language. So in case I want to convert to a different language, so let's say multi-language, multi-language, I want to convert these numbers that I have, right, from words like that to maybe French or to Russian. I can also move on the same option and then go with lang, then set it, as, let's say, RU, right, for Russian. Then it's going to convert to Three set, right? That is three set for Russian. In case I want to convert it to French, trans, or if I just make it as fr, we're going to convert it to trans. <laughs> the ways are the spelling may not be correct, but it's always better, right? Trans, trans. <laughs> so that is how to work with this particular package: converting words, converting numbers to words. But very interesting. Now let's see the method, second method. So the second method is use inflect. So we just go with pip install inflect. So I think, or pick install inflection, right? There are two different packages, but all of them do the same, similar stuff, right? But this is what I want us to use, pip install inflect. Then just go with what? Inflect, inflect, right? <laughs> it's inflect, inflect. Then just create your inflect engine to initialize it. So it's going to be P, it can be any name. So P is going to be inflect, inflect dot engine to initialize it. So this, this you are going to initialize it. So initialize. Then now we can use this particular P that you have created to do all that you want to do. So in case you want to convert from to to words, right? From convert numbers to words. So as that's what you are trying to do. So I'll just do the same thing. So P dot a particular number. So just go with number to words. So this is the option of doing several of them. So num two words so it's going to be like this if i go with this number two words then i'll just supply the particular number so we're working with text so let's move on to something like 40 so that this is so in case i want to also convert it to odd nouns right this is just cut now i want to convert it to odd nouns can also do the same thing of converting it to odd nouns so it can be like this p just odd now and i'll pass it here right so if i go with this Going to convert it to 40 right now. This is an ordinal format, so that's how to convert it to ordinals. This particular option is going to be ordinals. The 
that's it so in case i want to group the words i have several sentences so i have several numbers and i want to group them so number to words then i have let's say number like twelve thousand five hundred something like this right it is twelve thousand five hundred so i want to group them based on the number i want to group 12 together i want to group 550 together I can also do the same thing of this converting this one so now this is a normal group one so i can just go with this then group is equal to one so that is by default so it's going to just call one two five zero zero which is very interesting in case i want to i also want to actually make it into twos right this is just group of one so, so one two five zero zero i want to make it like groups of two i can just go with the same thing so it's going to be 12 500 12 50 and then zero so 12 50 and then zero which is very very interesting so that's one of the advantages of this particular application now let's move on to a custom function that is the method three so how do you do it by yourself so the basic way is i'm just going to create a dictionary and then you're going to look through it so that is how to do it so i've already created a dictionary of ways so we have one 1 is 1, 2 is 2, 3 is 3. So this is the simplest way of doing it. It's a very simple way. Then you I'll create a simple function. So this is the function. I'll explain the function. So I'm just going to loop through the function, right? Because this is just key value pair. So if the word 1 or 1 is, is found in any of them, then just bring the, the key. Right? That is the basic idea. So this is a dictionary. And this is the number. So you are passing whatever number here. So if you give us a key arrow, then go to try it again because something you can combine two of the numbers together so now let's click on it and see so we have our particular function so we have this function of number numbers right two words so let's pass a number like let's say four if i go with four so that has given us four it went here and then found out that this is four right and then it four and then brought this key where, where that, that is how it is working then i can also try the same thing for let's say two numbers together let's try two numbers like a number like let's say 40 so let's see how it's going to be so that's 40 right so the, how did it work so realize that we have 40 years so it's able to find it out so let's try something totally different which is not this so let's go with 45 and let's see how it's going to be Oops. so 45 how did it do that so that is where this function comes inside it's going to pick the particular word then add the remaining one to it and write so that is how to work with it so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just press the comment section so everybody can benefit and in case you need your data set clean you can also check the link below for some interesting stuff so the basic idea is that you can just use these two packages inflect or num 2 ways or you can just create your own function by creating a dictionary and then using the key value pair to work with it thank you and stay blessed